Hey guys, real quick, gonna give you an update of what's been going on around here. Right now, getting ready to put the gardens to bed for the winter. Gonna get them lined up real good and plant some wheat for a cover crop. Been hauling goat manure. This is my last load right here. Haven't decided where I want to put it yet, so just letting it sit here for a little bit. I'll get it off before it rots out the bottom of my trailer. We're gonna be mixing up some compost here shortly. That big pile of goat manure is gonna get mixed up with these grass clippings right here making some real nice compost for next year. I just turned this a couple of days ago and she's breaking down real fast. My tomato cages are starting to pile up on me. Got to figure out a way to put these things somewhere where the grass doesn't grow up in them. Got some volunteer purple hull peas down here. Looks like we might make a few on there. That's my pitiful little fall garden right there. It rained so much and where I wanted to plant cabbage and broccoli at just stayed too wet to get in there and work it. So I went ahead what the bugs hadn't eaten. Stuck some of this raised bed right here and I think they're going to be all right. My sweet potatoes went crazy down here. Still got a few more weeks or so before the frost, so trying to get, let them get a little bit bigger. Got some Beauregard sweet potatoes right here on the end of this bed. Come from I'm still working. These guys are rolling right along. I've looked up under there. Going to be some nice taters come out of it. I started a bunch of seedlings in rock wool. First time ever using it. I'll see how it does. I don't have any words to describe the lettuce and pak choy right here other than just flat out beautiful. Just amazing. Notice that empty cup right there? I couldn't wait 30 days. Had to do it. You just don't get much prettier than that. The Dutch bucket system is up and running. I think the tomatoes are liking these buckets right here just fine. Looking real good up under there. I started on the next experiment, the floating raft hydroponics. As you would expect, the tomatoes in the grow bags are rolling right along. My tomatoes in this long bed right here have really kicked it into gear. These guys are off to the races now. Same deal with the tomatoes here in the small greenhouse. They have really kicked it into gear. The scorpion pepper right here is turning out to be the scorpion king. That is one big pepper plant right there for a hot pepper. And you talking about putting out some hot peppers? This bad boy right here is a pepper producing machine. The bell peppers right now are just flat out insane the way they are producing. Just bunches and bunches of big red bell peppers. The big beef tomato tree is still humming right along. I got a few English cucumbers in here just hanging around. After I top those moringa, you can see the new shoots coming out the top already. Going to take a lot of wood to heat two greenhouses through the winter, so still working on the wood pile. For my grass cutting, I got me a new ride, and that thing is bad fast. All right, guys, that's the Cliff's Notes or the uh, condensed version of what's going on around my little homestead here. I'll go back and fill in the blanks as time permits. So y'all take care, and Lord willing, I'll see you next time.